Yo, hey Tamis here from vbragging.com and today I'm going to show you how to install an odd link fly theme that is responsive, more faster and more appealing to users. Before we begin, I want you to know that this video is sponsored by Hostinger. Hostinger is running right, right now a Black Friday offer that will get you up to 80% off of a 4-year hosting plan plus free domain, SSL certificates and D the OS protection with only $2.49 a month. They got a lot, a lot of other plans that you can check out. For example, we have the single shared hosting for $1.99 a month, and you can get one website, 50 gigabytes SSD storage, up to 10,000 visits monthly, one email account, and two databases. However, for the recommended and most popular plan we have the premium shared hosting with 2.49 dollars a month you can get up to the ability to host up to 100 websites 100 gigabytes ssd storage 25,000 visits monthly free email a limited bandwidth and a limited databases uh, personally i am using the uh, plan called business shared hosting that costs 3.99 dollars a month and you can get uh, up to 100,000 visits monthly, which is a useful feature uh, because we are trying to run on shortening link websites, which means a lot of visits monthly. You have as well free email and a lot of other uh, security features and a lot of other free bonuses that you can get here. So if you want to select a plan you use my link down below in the description box click on add to cart here you choose the period you have the one month 12 month as well as the fourth year plan this will cost you 2.49 dollars a month and you will get a free domain for the first year here you create your accounts then you select a payment you can pay with credit card paypal alipay and coin this if you want to here you enter your coupon code you make sure to enter mine geekblogging.com and click on apply to get a 15 percent off and as you can see here is the total that you will pay and make sure to remember that you can get a 30 day money back guarantee once you log in and choose the domain name which I advise you to be related to shortening link you get to enter to this dashboard so here we have the our domain name the plan we have selected the domain uh, the uh, plan for the email hosting as well as all the features and all the informations you need to know about your website so first go to file manager open public HTML and here you got the contents of your website. So here we need to upload the template of our website. In order to do that, either you have two options to buy the script from the link that we will leave you in the description box. Or if you have bought the hosting plan through my link down below in the description, you email me at contact at geekblogging.com and I will be very happy to send you the script for free. Once you got it, you delete all the files you have already found in your website and then you click on upload, click on a file and you upload the file I have just sent you through the email. Double click on the file, click on an archive, give us a random name and click on an archive. Then you open, select all with control plus A, then click to move, type in here, then here. Sorry. 
choose public HTML and click on move. Just click replace and here you are. So now we can go back and delete our zip file as well as the, uh, the folder we had just created earlier, which is geek right here. Now we can go ahead and check out our website. In order to do that, go to incognito mode for some DNS propagation problems. And here we are inside our website, straight to the installation process. So click on install database host URL, database port. Here we need to create a database on our website. In order to do that, we go back to our dashboard, go to databases and create a new one here. This is the SQL database name as well as the username. Now it is created successfully. So go ahead and uh, copy past the SQL database name here. And click on submit. So click on build database here, create admin user. And now the installation is successful. You can go ahead and click on access dashboard. Log in using your username and password. And here we are inside our website. This is the user uh, dashboard and you can click here for the administration area. So we can, which you get a lot of other additional features here. So in the next video, I'll show you how to get a new interface, which is more modern, more modern and attracting to the users. This guy, so all the links to use will be in the description box. Click the like button, subscribe with notifications on and share this video with your friends. Peace out.